99% of people failed at solving these puzzle. Do you think you are intelligent enough to solve these? Chess can be a really tricky game, especially if you are dealing with some puzzles that even pros couldn't figure out. In today's episode of Chess Game Buzz, let's explore some of the hardest chess puzzles and see if you can solve them on your own. Puzzle number one. Let's say you are playing white and this scenario arises. 99% of players would just resign with white, but you know what? The white can checkmate in seven moves from here. Pause the video and see if you can find them. The first move is the hardest one to find because it literally attacks nothing. Bishop to f3. You let black get the first queen, which is annoying for us because this queen controls the square of our pawn promotion as well. But you know what? Ignore it and promote your pawn to a queen as well, because if the queen captures, we check with the rook, creating a discovery attack on the queen as well. The king moves and this end game is totally winning for white. So instead, black gets another queen. And now from here, it is just five moves to a checkmate. Pause the video and see if you can find them. So bishop takes queen, queen takes your queen, Rook gives check exposing an attack to the queen as well, but be careful, you cannot take this queen or it is a stalemate. Pause again and try to find the next three moves to checkmate for white. The only good square for this bishop is e4. But it's not over yet. Black has a crazy move. Sacrificing the queen, if you take, it is stalemate. So how do you win? The only move is to block the queen's access to all these squares with rook to b1. The queen is forced to move, and you have it. Rook to h1. Checkmate. Puzzle number two. It looks too easy for white from here. Queen is on f6, and you'll have a checkmate in just two moves. But your opponent plays rook to g6, controlling all these squares. So, what do you do now? Pause the video. Think what could be done to win from here. The killer move is a queen sacrifice. And when your opponent captures the queen, take back with the d-pawn. Can you figure out now how you can win from here? Have a look at black pieces, they're totally stuck. You're a genius if you see what's coming next. Let me show you how to use the king wandering technique. As your opponent will now try to make a queen by promoting the pawn, you gradually bring the king to a5. Now when your opponent gets a queen and is happy, you smash him with the check by pawn to b6. He's forced to take your pawn, and now when you capture back, it's checkmate with the pawn. Puzzle number three. Look at this puzzle. See if you can win if you are playing white. Here, your opponent's queen is ready to fork the king and the rook on the next move. But it's white to play, and you won't believe how this game ends. Start with the check using the rook. The king is forced to go to g7, and now what can you do? Check your opponent with the bishop. No, he pushes the pawn, and his king is safe. So, how can you win with white? Can you find it? Give a check with pawn to h6. After the king escapes to f6. The killer move here is a rook sacrifice. Your opponent is now forced to take it. Now you'll check with pawn to e5. And when the queen captures it, bishop to g5 is checkmate. If you were able to solve these puzzles yourself, then you are really a chess pro. And if you could not, then subscribe to Chess Game Buzz to keep your chess game above everyone else. Also, don't forget to like and share this video and hit the bell icon to keep getting such amazing videos. Thank you for watching.